Good morning, Lucky Nation. Today is a special video. This whole, this whole journey started when a close family member that I love dearly was diagnosed with cancer. And seeing them go through that, the physical challenges, the psychological challenges, but the financial challenges that came with being diagnosed, it just, it just really touched my heart because I feel that when you're in that moment in your life, you should be focusing on your health and not stressing about money, paying for brand food, medication, supplements, There's a lot of cost that comes from being diagnosed. Seeing that happen, I decided to do something about it. But at, at first, I, just, I was just hoping that someone would come and help us, and I decided to become that person. This is the reason behind this whole project. So there was a specific moment where kind of everything clicked in. Um, I was at a doctor's appointment and I was just like going through my phone and thinking of a way to help out. And for me, like I always wanted to combine things that I love in order to help people because we can all use our skills to impact the lives of other people. So I was like, you know what? I'm good at making videos and I'm good at traveling. Might as well do something with that. And I've been wanting to go to, to LA, San Francisco for a while. So I'm like, why don't I just hitchhike to San Francisco? and vlog the whole thing and then raise money for cancer patients. While I was thinking about that, I got an email on my phone from someone that was cycling from San Francisco to LA and they were raising money for charity. And I was like, wow, like, why don't I just like take that idea and combine it to my idea? And that's where the idea of cycling to San Francisco came about. There's another reason that I chose cycling was because, because I wanted to feel like what it was like to suffer for a period of time. Seeing that family member go through cancer and seeing them suffer, like I said, physically and psychologically just touched me and I didn't want that person to feel alone in that journey. And for other people that are going through this, I didn't want them to feel alone in this journey. The other reason was I chose cycling because I have honestly haven't cycled. Like, I biked when I was a kid. I owned a bike like 10 years ago. I haven't owned a bike for a really long time and I honestly just started cycling like a month ago. We're filming this video and I'm leaving in nine days. Like I started one month ago for this journey. I wanted to have a level of preparation to know what I was doing, but I also wanted to kind of jump into the experience and, and feel all the pain that would come from this trip because life doesn't prepare you for cancer. You're never ready for that. It just hits you and then you have to deal with it. And that's kind of what I wanted to recreate with this trip. That's how cycling came about. The Let's Make a Difference project is as I explained, a result of me wanting to create an impact. So this involves me cycling from Vancouver to San Francisco in a period of 23 days, where I will be documenting daily my journey on YouTube and on Instagram. The impact that's gonna be created through this video is that I'm raising a total of $50,000 for 10 cancer patients that have recently been diagnosed or have been diagnosed multiple times to help them pay for rent, food, medication, supplements, whatever that might be just to alleviate the stress of being diagnosed and just to make their life easier. Good morning Lucky Nation and welcome to another beautiful chilly morning in Vancouver. Uh, before I go on with this video, for those of you guys that are new to the channel, my name is Lucky Sigoin. I am a vlogger slash content creator and I want to welcome you into my life, into this project that I'm working on right now. I, <laughs> I chose cycling because everything in that world was new to me like i said i haven't owned a bike in several years and i only started biking one month ago i didn't even know how what i needed how this whole thing would work out i didn't even know where i would sleep what i would eat and that's kind of the the suffering slash challenge aspect of it that i wanted to experience and honestly it just it's just been a crash course of meeting amazing people and then connecting with people that wanted to help me create an impact, connecting with cancer patients. If you guys check out my Instagram and my Facebook, I've posted pictures of some of the people that would be helping. Tristan, an amazing kid, he's 16 years old, I believe, and it's, I posted his story yesterday, and honestly, it just it made me cry, it made me emotional, because we're blessed to live the life that we live, and I feel like it would be a waste if we don't use it to help those people to create an impact. And I was thinking about that on my way here to film this video is if I just stay, if I just live here for myself, then that's a wasted life. I feel like I've been blessed with some abilities we all have and we all have the power to create an impact for somebody else. And that's kind of like another intention behind this whole trip is I want to inspire you guys to use your abilities, to use your skills to impact somebody else's life. 
you all have the power to make a difference. Just use your resources. You're blessed to be alive. You're blessed to have woken up this morning. I'm grateful every single morning for the life that I have, the people that I have in my life. And I'm just grateful to be able to, to do this trip and to impact people's life. So all I want to do is welcome you guys to take on the challenge to impact somebody else's life. Basically what's going to happen after the trip, after I've raised the, the amount of money that I wanted to raise, basically when I'm going to be coming back from San Francisco is I'm going to go personally hand those checks to those people. Because some of them live in the interior of BC, some of them live in, in Calgary, in Alberta, some of them live a little bit outside of Vancouver. So I would just really love to go there and meet them, hand them the check in person, you know, connect, hear their story and how that money is going to impact their lives. Also, this trip is the start. I have many more ideas for more trips that I can do in order to raise more money for cancer patients. And honestly, like that's just what connected with my heart. For me, it's cancer. For other people, it's Alzheimer. For other people, it's something else. This is what connected with me. This is what I chose to create an impact in that world. So that's what's coming up after the trip. Many more trips to come, many, many more people to be impacted. All the ideas of trips that I have to, to raise more money every single time, obviously it's not to do it comfortably. Every single time I want to push my limit, get uncomfortable every single time. I had an idea and I'm putting it out there into the universe to cycle from here to Quebec. I would love to hike Kilimanjaro. That's something that would make me extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> so I, keep, I want to keep pushing my limits and keep getting even more and more uncomfortable because whatever experience I can choose won't even be won't even relate a hundred percent to what they're feeling on a daily basis and as a as a goal I want to get as close as I can to that I want to push my limits and be extremely uncomfortable I want to feel the pain with them I don't want them to feel alone in this journey and I want them to know that there's somebody else there for them but I just want to say a big thank you to everybody that supported me in this journey honestly when I first started it was extremely hard I didn't know who I wanted to connect with I didn't even know if people wanted to support this cause this journey and honestly all I did was put out a good energy that I wanted to give back that I wanted to help out and everybody that I emailed that I reached out to that had the same values as me responded positively or even if they said no that I couldn't do what I asked for they would offer their help in another way which which was amazing to see that everybody's willing to step up and willing to help out so I want to say a big thank you to everybody that's involved in this journey or that's going to be involved in this journey. I really appreciate you guys and it means a lot. Thank you for helping me create an impact. And honestly, without you guys, it wouldn't be possible.